Forecast with Alana Brophy. Weather rate certified 10 years in a row. All right, switching gears now. Time for a look at the changing weather. Yep, the winds of change blowing in. No doubt about that, Alana. Yeah, so much so that we get some warnings and advisories on the way. Another big storm is headed towards the state, and it's got soggy conditions coming with it. Cloud cover out there right now. So we take that live look at Cache Valley from Logan. Pretty sunset in that area. We've got those gusty winds. You notice them today, and that cloud cover kind of giving you the heads up. The changes are right around the corner. We're going to look at those winter weather alerts and the wind warnings. Rain and snow on the way. I've got the timeline and when to expect that accumulation and another storm after this next one. Well, that's pretty busy. Look at that sunset Alta. How pretty are you? These mountains, they're going to get some heavy snow as we head into tomorrow night, but such a pretty shot there. That pop of color from the top of the mountain. Let's talk about those winds because they've been out there today and they increase into tomorrow. By tomorrow morning, here we are at 7 a.m. You see strong numbers along the Wasatch Front and on the western side of the state. Those southerly winds, they will crank our temperatures and that will allow for rain to start to fall. As we make it through the day and into the evening, while those warnings are in effect, those southerly winds push through central Utah and then target the eastern side of the state by 11 p.m. So from the Four Corners area up to the Uinta Basin, we will get some gusty conditions. As a result, a high wind warning is in effect for the West Desert that goes into effect at 6 a.m. This does include Towilla County. We are looking at wind gusts up to 65 miles per hour. Blowing dust possible, crosswinds on 80 will be nasty. We do have wind advisory going into effect for Salt Lake County, as well as Millard and Juab County, the San Pete and Sevier Valleys. We are going to see gusty conditions there. Wind gusts up to 55 miles per hour, and you notice that high wind warning from Moab down to Bluff as well. Going to be gusty conditions expected. Those winds ahead of this atmospheric river, an area of low pressure that's going to track through the western United States. We're watching that moisture head through the Great Basin and target Utah. Moves in as rain by tomorrow afternoon, but then it switches to snow, which is why we now have a winter storm warning that will go into effect by 5 p.m. tomorrow for our mountains. That includes the Wasatch, Uintas, Central and Southern Mountains, which will be the big winners when it comes to very high snow totals. In purple, you see a winter weather advisory that does include Tooele and Salt Lake County. Here's a look at that moisture and the snow levels. They'll be dropping by tomorrow. They will be down to the benches in the evening, falling to the valley floor for the overnight, which is when we expect that transition to snow. Here's a look. We do notice that front coming through. Here comes that wet weather. Here we go. We get the rain switching over to snow. The Wednesday morning commute is going to be messy. This window of accumulating snow will accumulate in the mountains and the valleys by the end of Wednesday. Our next storm on our heels. How much snow are we going to get? One to four inches in Salt Lake valleys. Generally speaking, two to five benches doing better. Mountain valleys four to eight and you can see those mountain totals very healthy. Again, that window of precipitation late tomorrow night through Wednesday morning. 40s and 50s with temps dropping. 54 in Moab 56 in St. George. Here's a look at the next seven here where we have rain. It will be straight rain in St. George. Drier conditions to close out the work week. We get another storm up north. We like this moisture. It comes in on Thursday. It will be snow with some lingering snow showers into Friday. Colder temperatures. We go from the 50s to the 30s. That sounds like a repeat. Let's do it again. Glenn Emily, over to you.